So I get to the Thai Elephant Conservation Center and they set me up in this open area and there's a group of elephants and their mahouts, who are the caretakers, off in the distance and I start playing something soft and lilting, lilting to invite them closer. I was invited there to do music for a film about elephants. And in the process of being invited there, I was then invited to play music with the Thai Elephant Orchestra, which was a group of elephants who had been trained to play instruments. And I had really mixed feelings about playing with elephants who had been trained to play instruments. But once I met them, and once music became the bridge that connected us in this deeply profound way, for me, but also what I felt from them, and then what I felt through telling of the story to others. It was this journey and this story and this beautiful expression that I could have never predicted. And this one elephant starts walking towards me, and I later find out her name is Pratida, and she's seven years old. And she stops about 15 feet from me and just watches. And I can see her eyes open and close and open and close like she's being lulled by the music and she reaches out her trunk and she takes a step towards me. And her eyes open and close. And she reaches out her trunk and she takes another step towards me to the point where she's close enough that her trunk is following my bow as I'm bowing across the strings, like she's feeling the vibration with her trunk, but never interfering with it. And so at this point, I think, you know, I think she's kind of digging this. I'm going to try playing something a little bit more rhythmic. And Pratida, she just looks right at me, and she starts swinging her massive head in rhythm as if to say, I'm going to dance with you. Go ahead and play. So I do. And by this time, there are about six elephants that had gathered around with their mahouts. And one of them starts chirping in this high-pitched squeal, so I start imitating her. And another one joins in. And Pratida, she just keeps swinging her head. And I think it was on this day I found my elephant self. It fed this sense of joy and hope to me that if this great communication and this great connection can be made between different species, how can it not be made between humans? How can we not continue to work to make that connection, to live together, to help one another? Take me back to the lush forest of knowing, of remembering what lives in every cell. You walk with grace the paths of our future while holding generations of an ancient line. In the joining of sun and moon and you and I, I stand in your shadow. I bow to your heart. There's a fire in the black sky, red moon. There's a fire in the black sky, red moon. What's most hopeful to me, or what has fed my sense of hope, is the experience I had with the elephants. 
in that I felt like there was, and this may sound crazy, but I felt like there was a calling from these beings to me. And since then, I have heard that from many other people, that they have felt certain animals calling to them. That indicates a sense of coming together and a sense of learning from one another that feeds a sense of hope for me in a way that um, I have lost hope in humans. And through that experience with the elephants then, I have regained hope in what we as humans can do. Mm -hmm.